Hi guys, Mr. Awful Waffles here. As many of you are aware, there are loads of ciphers on uh, Eisendracher. I've posted some of the solutions to my channel already, but just because of uni work, I kind of fell behind in posting the rest of the solutions. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the Juggernog cipher. It's next to the Juggernog machine on der Eisendracher. If you look at the machine, as you can see I'm doing here, it's just in the corner of the room. I'm gonna go back in and show you it now. There it is, underneath this flickering light, you can see it in the corner, and we're going to be talking about the solution to it today. I will save the deciphering process for another video. If you guys remember, actually, on Shadows of Evil, when we solved all of those ciphers, I made a series of videos in my university lecture theatre, one of them at least, breaking down exactly how you would go about analytically looking at the ciphertext itself and using that information to crack the code. I'll be doing that with these ciphers in due course as well, so we'll save the explanation for that nice, clear, detailed, in-depth breakdown of exactly what went on. For now, we'll just focus on the plain text itself. So, with this note here that you can see on the floor next to Jug, you get the following message if you decipher correctly. We have discovered that there are beings that can travel between dimensions without the aid of the teleporters. Interesting one, this. If we think about the time period in which Der Eisendracher takes place, well, we know it's World War II, right? So we've got Group 935 doing a load of research within Der Eisendracher, within Griffin Castle, and one of the things that they are sort of investigating, I suppose, are the Keepers. When you go down into the basement of the castle, one of the quotes you can get is, I think, Nikolai saying that it's a tomb for kings, that pyramid. Richterfen says, oh man, like my pals in 935 were meddling with forces that they couldn't possibly hope to control. And it's when you go into the pyramid room with the keeper statues craning over the pyramid itself that those quotes are triggered. So clearly, 935 are doing some keeper research. And it's my opinion that this cipher is talking specifically about the first foray into that very area. They're saying we've discovered these things called keepers exist, or rather we've discovered these beings. We don't know yet that they are keepers. We don't know. Actually, that's quite interesting. They don't know about the ancient order of the keepers, seemingly. So in a sense, we know more about the keepers than Group 935 do prior to Der Eisendracher. Simply because we've played Shadows of Evil, we've had all those quotes from that book, that oh-so-important book on the map. When you're doing the Easter egg and you get all those quotes from Jessica, and just actually from all of the cast, in fact, talking about the book itself and the keepers, and then there's Mr. Rapt as well, we know a fair bit about them, but what we do see on Der Eisendracher, which we did definitely not have on Shadows of Evil, is the drawing of the Keepers visiting Samantha. I'm going to pop it on screen now. In the picture below, you can see Samantha and you can see Fluffy, her dog. Obviously, it says me and Fluffy. There's a love heart. That's pretty self-explanatory. But the image above shows Samantha with the caption, me, happy face, how cute, <laughs> in bed with the moon. Interesting that they've included that, by the way. I thought that that would be worth pointing out because the moon really has a lot of significance in zombies. The moon through the window there and a keeper quite clearly coming through a portal, or at least I think it's a portal. Some people have been saying, oh, it's a window with some weird stuff. No, I reckon it's a portal. It's made a portal and it's jumped straight through it and it's visiting Samantha. The ramifications of this drawing are really quite interesting in my opinion. We could take it a number of different ways. One interpretation might be that the Keepers have some affinity for Griffin Castle, most likely that Tomb for Kings that we see in the basement area, in the Undercroft. You could say the Keeper doesn't actually care about Sam and it's just here because Samantha happens to be inside Griffin Castle. You could also say, no, I refute that idea. I don't think that is what is happening. I think that specifically, Samantha is being visited by a Keeper here. The Keeper is here for Samantha for whatever reason. I mean, she doesn't look particularly happy. She looks fairly frightened. But saying that, if we look at the image below, and this is the reason I included it in the video and I didn't just crop it out entirely, in that image with her and Fluffy, she has 
kind of the same expression, this sort of surprised look on her face. So maybe we can't read into that shock at all, and maybe we just have to sort of ignore it in our analysis of the image. Anyhow, if Samantha is being visited, why? What is going on with Samantha that makes her interesting at this point in the story? This drawing is prior to her entry into the MPD. Is the Keeper predicting that something is going to happen with her? Is this some kind of prophetic message? Is maybe even Samantha thinking about the future rather than drawing on her past experiences? She's saying, oh, maybe I wish a Keeper would come through the portal and talk to me or something. Maybe she's lonely and she just wants some friends. Maybe she's seen the fact that Group 935 are doing Keeper research at the castle since they've discovered them, and she wants a piece of the action, in her own childish little way. She just wants to have a chat with a keeper. Maybe. Like I said, there are so many different possible interpretations here, which is what makes this so much fun, in my opinion, is we can really theorize a lot about all the different avenues we could go down in order to explain what this particular image means, and by association, what the cipher means. I think the cipher with these beings that can teleport without the use of the teleporters themselves, they can travel between dimensions, I think that that is definitely referring to the keepers, but you guys might have other ideas. I mean, could the beings, for example, be premise? I don't think so for a moment, but you guys might want to argue that sort of idea or a similar one in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now that the map is out on Xbox and PC as well, you guys can jump into game and have a look at this stuff for yourself, have a look at the cipher, have a look at the poster or rather the drawing from Samantha, and let me know what your thoughts are. By the way, if you don't have the DLC yet, and you're sitting there twiddling your thumbs wondering what to do with yourself, then check out the description, there's a link to Opinion Outpost who have sponsored this video. The idea is that you fill in surveys on their site, and they pay you for it, and you could use that cash to buy the DLC or something like that, buy the season pass, heck, buy the game if you wanted to. So, I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. thank you so much for watching the video, guys, let me know your cipher thoughts, and... If you have any video requests for stuff I should be making in the next few days or weeks, then definitely let me know. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!